All right, hello everyone. Uh, I'm gonna share a word I actually received yesterday and I was uh, kind of in the middle of some things and the Lord sat me down and it's kind of long and um, I was basically writing as fast as I can, so. Um, and the sun's kind of coming over the roof on our deck and that's why I have these sunglasses on. It's pretty pretty bright out, so. Um, anyway, so I will just share the word. So here it goes. They who know the Lord bear fruit. They who know the Lord are justified in faith in believing on the Son, whose faith is justified without works. But yea, ye say, ye have no need of works. I tell you, and so it is written, that faith without works is dead. So then, how be it that ye are justified? Those in Christ are justified in believing, and so in believing and being filled with the Spirit of the living God are zealous of the works of the Father. They not continue in sin, for the works of the Father are those works he has ordained before time. So then, ye know them by their fruit, for they not hide what is found under a rock, but proclaim the good news, neither denying he who was sent before man, but in the making of disciples, in proclaiming the gospel, in turning from sin, in seeking spirit, and so abounding more and more. And so again I say, ye are not saved by works nor kept, but they who so know the Lord, so hear his voice, and so do as he commands, and so do his works, and bearing the fruit of the Spirit. They not sin willfully, disregarding that which is commanded. For your Lord has made you in his image, so therefore walk as he walked, not in sin, but putting away that which defileth and that which is shameful. For there are those given to doctrines of demons, claiming ye need not live righteously. But so, to be made righteous is also to live righteously. And I tell you again, no good thing shall be withheld from they who live righteously. But wrath cometh to the children of disobedience. And if it be po impossible to please God without faith, how be it that ye please your Lord, if faith come through hearing, and that hearing come by the word of God? Yea, ye given to false doctrine shall be without excuse, for ye pick and choose from my word that which suit your carnal desires. Ye who not bear fruit shall be cut off, lest ye turn from your wicked ways. Yea, ye hide in your houses with all your convenience, saying, Ye are in need of nothing. But ye lack knowledge, and ye not know your God. For if ye know the Lord, ye do his works, turn from sin, and proclaim the good news. O oh, ye, who for not who O oh, ye who not forsake sin shall be forsaken, and so are damned with they who were cast out, and so they know who their Lord is, but choose sin unto death, and so denying the way in which they were called. These shall the door be shut, and so having known and tasted the good gift, so turned away, and so shall they be who not walk in his ways. And so it is written, For the Lord gives liberally to they who seek, but they who seek the things of the world shall die in the world. For the way of sin is death, but the way to life is Christ. So then, be a servant unto his ways. But again I say, they who serve sin shall die in sin. Choose life. Just feel in the presence of his Holy Spirit. And 
I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm, I'm really at a loss with people who think, hey, just believe and, you know, you can't lose your salvation. Just believe. Do whatever you want. I read a King James Bible. I suggest you do the same. Um, I don't know what the rest of the books say, but my book says to sure turn away from sin or do the best you can. Sin not, but when you sin and Jesus is your advocate. And if you think you're hearing from the Lord, test the spirits whether they're of God because any spirit that does not confess Jesus Christ came to earth in flesh and blood as a man is not of God but of any Christ. That's 1 John 4. So, anyway, just... I'll put some testimony videos here if you think these words aren't that I'm getting aren't from the Lord. I don't know what to tell you, but you know it says people will prophesy dream dreams and have vision and visions in the end, and I've had all those three. And if you don't think anyone can have all three, then look at Numbers 12:6. Um, you know, and I do want to share. I did really give some great testimony to quite a few folks. Um, few people in the park and another guy I had a great conversation with probably for about an hour and a half who I think he said he was a, a nihilist I don't even know what I don't even know what it is but anyway I pointed him to a lot of archaeological spiritual and prophetic evidence for the Lord and the Lord definitely most certainly speaks to people that pursue him his sheep hear his voice and that's no joke so if you're trying to figure out what we're doing here um, without being led by his Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, and I know some of you don't believe in the Holy Spirit. I know Jehovah's Witnesses don't. I know, um, you know, other people don't believe that Jesus was God in the flesh. Well, there's verses that definitely say he's not God, but verses that say he definitely is God. And God is spirit, and Jesus is the image of the invisible God. And then when he ascended into heaven, he said he'd send a comforter, which was not Muhammad. It's the Holy Spirit. You can look in the King James Bible, and it's his spirit that was sent. So, you know, these three, you know, they're definitely separate, but also one. So it's all a mystery, but... uh you know, something that maybe we as humans can't understand, but it's something that's definitely understandable if you're led in his spirit of truth. And again, a lot of the Bibles have been changed. I'll, I'll put uh, links to that as well, but I also posted some verses on the community page um, that differ pretty drastically. So from version to version. And I also shared the truth in Christ channel, which someone had shared with me. So from this channel but anyway i guess that's all i gotta say so god bless in the name of jesus christ